Just as Windows 10 kisses goodbye to 2025, other OSs are welcomed in 2025. Today I will show you the top 7 Linux distros to watch out for in 2025. Hello guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you like app reviews and exploring operating systems for Windows, Linux, Mac, etc., you're at the right place. So, ensure you click the subscribe button and turn on that notification bell icon so you can join in this wonderful adventure. Linux has been making waves in the operating system world. By 2027, it is expected that the global Linux market will reach $15.64 trillion used by nearly half of professional developers. Here are the list of the top 7 best Linux distros to watch out for in the year 2025. At number 7. Zorin OS 18. You couldn't agree less that Zorin OS 17.2, which is the latest version in the Zorin OS 17 series, has beyond doubt proven to be impressive after its release. I guess Zorin 18 would be a banger. Zorin looks a lot more promising than any other Linux distro. I believe it would come with more enhancements that make the desktop experience look better than its predecessors. Improved visual experience for beginners and pros, more appealing themes, simplified Windows organizations, and better security powered by the latest version of Linux kernel. And of course, a light version to support older PC. Number 6 on my list is KD Linux. Yes, you heard it rightly. KD is making its official distribution known as KD Linux. Codename, Project Banana. It is at the prototype stage, a work in progress. Not enough information concerning its release. Nevertheless, we anticipate its release in 2025. It should come in three variants. Testing Edition for Git Master with Daily Release. Enthusiast Edition for KD Enthusiasts, Power Users, and Influencers. And Stable Edition for Everyone Else. The K Desktop Environment Community KD develops and maintains more than 200 applications portable for any Linux desktop. Some of these include Gcompre, Krita, and Kden Live. These are a few among the hundreds of apps well managed by the community. The new KD Linux will have the following architecture. Base OS is Arch based. Updates are some degree of rolling release. System Boot is the bootloader with nice boot theming. BTRFS as the file system. Wayland by default. Apps from Flatpak instead of legacy packages focuses on modern technology, and can be used as a daily driver without breaking. It should also support switching between editions and releases at any time. So, if you want an Arch-based distro with a stable KD experience, then be on the lookout for this release. For more info visit the website link in the description. Coming at number 5 is GNOME OS Nightly. This is a pre-release software package primarily for developers to test and showcase the latest desktop environmental features. Just like KD Linux, GNOME OS is still in the development stage and not yet a full-fledged Linux distro. It is anticipated that by 2025 GNOME OS would become a general-purpose Linux distro for both beginners and professionals. What would the GNOME OS look like? This desktop would use the latest simplified Wayland technology for this and would work across multiple platforms ranging from desktops, laptops, tablets, and phones. GNOME OS aims to allow users should be able to roll back if something goes wrong, especially after performing an update. Flatpak for apps to help users to explore a wider range of apps. For security, GNOME plans to utilize some latest security measures like UEFI Secure Boot and TPM as an extra layer of security. Plus, cutting-edge technologies like Wayland and Pipewire ensure a smooth user experience. I bet you don't want to miss this one, too. Moving on to Fedora 42, which is number 4 on our list. Fedora is finally rolling out with a new modern Anaconda Web UI installer for the Fedora Workstation Edition as default and also promises to port the Anaconda system installer 
as a native Wayland application. This is to make the installation process easier and provide new features. Some new features include support for installing dual boot, reinstalling Fedora in a recovery mode, and web-based remote installation. Fedora KD Plasma Desktop officially promoted to edition status and would reflect in the Fedora 42 scheduled for release in late April or early May 2025. There are certain criteria that must be met prior to its release. More information on this can be found on their website. However, the objective of the final release is to provide a polished final release that can be used as a daily driver for all. At number 3. Pop OS 24.04 LTS If you are a fan of the Cosmic Desktop environment, then you should be on the lookout for a stable release of Pop OS 24.04 LTS in 2025. This release is going to feature Pop's Rust-based Cosmic Desktop. One amazing thing about this is the fact that the Cosmic Desktop will be made available to other Linux distros like Arch, Cache OS, Fedora, and Serpent OS among others. This means you can use your favorite Cosmic Desktop on a different distro. Moving on to number 2. Ubuntu 25.04 The codename, Plucky Puffin, has been scheduled for release on April 17, 2025. Before that, it will be available for public beta testing on March 27, 2025. This will mark Canonical's 42nd Ubuntu release since its establishment. This release would receive software and security updates for just 9 months until January 2026. Ubuntu 25.04 Plug Puffin is expected to ship with GNOME 48 Desktop as the default desktop environment. GNOME Desktop Codename, Bengaluru, release date is slated for March 19, 2025. If you want to know more about the GNOME 48 Desktop, watch out for my video this week. Finally, at number 1. Linux Mint 23. Linux Mint based on Ubuntu is considered to be lighter than Ubuntu even faster. The next major release of Linux Mint is Linux Mint 23, though it is expected to be released in 2026. Work on the new version is not likely to begin until then. For now, there's no information on it. But I think it will be based on Ubuntu 24.04 LTS. For now, just stick to Linux Mint 22, which is still in service until 2029. This concludes our list of the top 7 Linux distro to watch out for in 2025. If you enjoyed this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so I can keep making videos like this. Thanks for watching see you next time.